What's up, everybody? Rod J back in the house. Time to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video today. I'm taking a look at one from Wiedemann's Fine Beer here in Cincinnati, Ohio. This is their By George Double IPA. So this one comes in with an ABV of 8%. The history of Wiedemann, they actually go back to uh, 1870. It was an operation that was ran one time, not just in Cincinnati, but also in Newport, Kentucky. Got shut down back around 83, and then uh, some local diehards actually ended up rebuilding the brewery and bringing it back to life. So they are now produced some more beers again, have been the last few years, and uh, first time I've seen a double IPA from them. So let's crack this baby open and get into it, and then see what this one actually has to offer. 16 ounce can, I ended up picking up a uh, four pack of these that I got. So it was actually a pretty good deal. It was a four pack for, I wanna say with this one it was $6.99, so not too bad. And we'll see how this goes down. I'm actually gonna use a nice IPA glass as well. And we're gonna switch it over here to the beer can cam for you as well. So there way you can check out the can or anybody that comes in later can check that out. Your typical notes on the nose, you're getting a citrusy type feel. You are picking up some of the maltiness with it being a double IPA. Some sweetness there in the nose. Your pineapple, you got your orange, some of your tangerine. It does have a little bit of that syrupy type note that you can uh, usually detect with some of these double IPAs. Head itself, pretty much an eggshell white. As far as the look of it, your typical nice uh, yellow orange type color so to speak I'll get it there and you do see some of the carbonation it does have a chill haze on it but I am seeing some of the bubble action that should be coming through the camera nicely for you as well so carbonation is lively on this one <sighs> taste wise you get some pininess in there with some of the citrus action taking place you pick up on the uh, tongue a little bit of a pineapple type feel again that orange you're getting a grapefruit getting that bitter and type effect up front a little bit of that syrupy type feel in the beer really does hit you with a little bit of a punch you do have a little bit of that dankin and type feel of it being kind of the ipa from the hops a little bit of a resiny type quality but not overly done that maltiness like i said does come through as well so you are picking that up um, and of course you're feeling everything you kind of get in this type of style a little bit of a drying action on the back end uh, you feel some freshness there at least on the cans that i have or the can i have here of uh, the hops and getting a little bit of that throat type scratchiness as it goes down a little bit not as smooth out as some of the other double ipas i've had because of that increase in malt but does have that feel to it that you know definitely lets you know distinctively that you do feel this to be a double IPA. Overall, not bad. Good flavor on the palate. Easily one that you can sit here and actually uh, get through if you're a double IPA type person or an IPA type person. I feel like there's so many that are out there now. Um, they all just kind of start to get put together, so to speak. And with this one, it doesn't really stand out too much being a double IPA but it's just that nice classic feel of the style. Overall, not a bad beer. We do have some lacing on the glass, as you can see, taking place. It's not one that's gonna move the needle for me, really, but at the same point, I can drink it and enjoy it. So there you have from Wiedemann's Fine Beer, the By George Double IPA. If you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. If there's other double IPAs you're drinking out there, you want me to check out feel free to let me know as well always love feedback you guys provide thanks for checking out this video i look forward to catching up with you guys soon follow me on untapped if you want to see the score as well if you are on that app as well cheers keep drinking those good craft beers remember there's always time get your beer on